Hello everyone. Before we begin, we'd like to thank you for subscribing to our channel. We've reached 500 subscribers. Thank you for your trust. We aim for even more and better content in the future. Enjoy the video. Neptune controls Pluto's orbit. Neptune is the bully of that neighborhood, Mike Brown. Hello, dear friends. Today, we would like to tell you about the last planet in the solar system, Neptune. In this video, you will learn about its discovery, key characteristics, and interesting facts. Before we begin, we would like to ask you to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on exciting videos about space and the universe. Neptune was the first planet discovered through mathematical calculations. In 1846, British mathematician and astronomer John Couch Adams determined Neptune's position solely through mathematics. Around the same time, French astronomer Urban Le Verrier independently calculated the planet's location. Le Verrier communicated his findings to German astronomer Johann Gottfried Galle, who spotted Neptune during observations at the Berlin Observatory on the 23rd of September 1846, increasing the number of known planets to eight. This led to a dispute between the British and the French over the right to claim the discovery of Neptune. In the end, consensus was reached and Adams and Leveria were credited as co-discoverers. Interesting fact. According to historical records, Galileo Galilei first observed Neptune in December 1612 and again in January 1613, almost 200 years before its official discovery. However, in both instances, the scientist mistook the planet for a stationary star in conjunction with Jupiter in the night sky. For some time after its discovery, Neptune was simply referred to as the outermost planet from Uranus or the Leverrier planet. The first proposal for an official name came from Galley, who suggested Janus. In England, a different name, Ocean, was proposed. Leverrier asserted his right to name the planet and proposed Neptune, honoring the god of the sea falsely claiming that such a name was approved by the French Bureau of Longitudes. Despite some difficulties, this name eventually became established for the planet. Neptune's characteristics place it as an intermediate link between Earth and the large gas giant. Its mass is 17 times that of Earth, but 19 times less than that of Jupiter. Neptune's equatorial radius is about 24,764 kilometers nearly four times that of Earth. The interior structure of Neptune resembles that of Uranus. Its atmosphere makes up approximately 10% of the planet's mass and extends up to 20% of its radius. The upper layers contain hydrogen and helium with a small amount of methane, which gives the planet its bright blue color. Neptune's atmosphere gradually transitions into a superheated liquid mantle with temperatures ranging from 2,000 to 5,000 Kelvin. The mantle is more massive than Earth's and is composed of methane, ammonia, and water. Scientists refer to this substance as icy, though it is, in reality, a hot and very dense liquid. According to one hypothesis, the planet may have a diamond rain ocean deep within. Neptune's core consists of iron, nickel, and silicates, and is believed to be 1.2 times the mass of Earth. Temperatures at the core may reach up to 7,000 degrees Celsius, comparable to the surface temperature of the Sun. As the farthest planet from our star, Neptune has the longest orbit among the eight planets, completing one orbit around the Sun approximately every 165 Earth years. Interestingly, only one year on Neptune has passed since its discovery. It happened in 2011. Since Neptune's axial tilt is similar to that of Mars and our planet, it experiences seasons similar to Earth, with each season lasting about 40 Earth years. Furthermore, the weather on Neptune is known for its frequent and rapid changes. One of the planet's main features is its winds, which can reach speeds of up to 2100 km per hour, surpassing those of any other planet. In 1989, NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft discovered the Great Dark Spot, a persistent anticyclonic storm measuring 13,000 by 6,600 kilometers. This atmospheric storm resembled Jupiter's Great Red Spot, but on the 2nd of November 1994, 
the Hubble Space Telescope failed to locate it at its previous position. Instead, a similar feature was found in the planet's northern hemisphere. Like other gas giants, Neptune has a large system of natural satellites. All of the ice giant's moons are named after water-related deities from Greek and Roman mythology. Neptune has 14 known satellites. The first moon discovered around Neptune is Triton, found by William Lassell just 17 days after the discovery of the Blue Planet. With a diameter of 2,700 kilometers, Triton is the largest moon of Neptune and the seventh largest moon in the solar system. It accounts for more than 99.5% of all the mass in Neptune's orbit, including other known satellites, and is considered an independent object, likely a dwarf planet captured by Neptune's gravity from the Keeper belt. Another natural satellite of Neptune, NERED, was discovered by Gerard Keeper in 1949. In 1981, a group of astronomers found Neptune's third moon, Larissa, and approximately 10 years later, in 1989, Voyager 2 confirmed Larissa's discovery and found five more inner moons, Naiad, Thalassa, Despina, Galatea, and Proteus. In the early 21st century, the last six moons were discovered, Halimide, Sao, Samothi, Laomedea, Neso, and a small moon named Hippocamp. Like other gas giants, Neptune can boast a system of rings, which were first observed in 1984 and were imaged for the first time by Voyager 2 in 1989. Neptune has five major rings, named after astronomers who studied the planet, Galley, Laveria, Lassell, Arago, and Adams. Additionally, in the outer Adams ring, there are four groupings of dust particles known as arcs, liberty, equality, fraternity, and courage. Despite the laws of mechanics predicting these arcs should merge into a uniform ring, they remain stable structures. Scientists believe that Neptune's moon Galatea's gravitational influence keeps the arcs in place. Although Neptune is on average 4.5 billion kilometers from Earth, humanity has already reached it. On the 25th of August 1989, Voyager 2 passed by Neptune at a distance of only 4,400 kilometers from the planet's atmosphere. Voyager 2 confirmed the existence of the planet's magnetic field. The planet's rotation period was determined by measuring radio emissions. Voyager 2 also revealed Neptune's unusually active weather system and discovered six new moons and several rings. In addition to studying the planet, the spacecraft also flew close to Triton where it observed the moon's geothermal activity and measured its temperature, which was found to be around minus 230 degrees Celsius. Currently, two missions to Neptune are planned, Neptune Odyssey and Interstellar Express, which are expected to arrive at Neptune no earlier than 2038. Neptune will never be a home for humans, but it is already clear that this giant holds many secrets yet to be discovered. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Check out our videos about other planets in the solar system in the top right corner. Please leave a comment about what you'd like to learn about in the next video. Thank you and see you next time.